If the contactor is humming and noisy, it is a sign that you have a problem. Check your contactor nominal coil voltage. Normally written between A1 and A2 terminals, or the front side of the contactor. Under voltage can generate noisy coil. Before continuing, 97% from people watching our videos, forgetting to subscribe, so, subscribe now. Measure the coil voltage just the contactor is powered up. Put the multimeter probes into the contactor terminals A1 and A2. Power up the contactor and check the voltage measurement. It should be more than 80% and less than 110% of the coil nominal voltage. For example, the contactor coil voltage is 220 volts. So, the accepted measurement should be from 176 volts to 242 volts. Contactors, if used in a dusty environment, are at a risk of dust deposition on the core and armature. Dust also could generate noise during contactor power-up time. The contactor's IP normally is 20, which is protecting from objects bigger than 12.5 mm, but dust particles are smaller than 1 mm. So, to protect the contactor from dust, the enclosure must be IP50 or more. Mounting position also could be the reason. These positions are permissible without derating. But if the contactor position was one of those positions, it must be derated. For the derating percentage check the contactor datasheet.